For today's video, we are going to be doing a fix on the M3. It's possibly one of the biggest issues on the car um, outside of the rod bearings and throttle actuators. Um, it's not a huge deal, but if you can kind of see below, you can see that under tray is no longer hanging on at all. I've been dragging this along for the past few days. It's pretty embarrassing. Here are the instructions. Um, it's only one page and it's only one side. So uh, there's apparently nine steps. Uh, we probably won't be following this to a T because we have it on ramps. And this is telling you to um, place it on the le on level ground and lift it. Um, but we're gonna try to do it on ramps because it's a little more convenient. Calvin already took off the passenger side um it's mostly just held by these wires um that's kind of why they usually um break because uh it's just felt material and that's not going to be too sturdy especially if your car is kind of low and it hits things constantly uh but luckily this is not too hard to take on and off obviously um since it seems to be mostly held by uh four points and they're going to be these little cable things which I'm trying to show you the best I can I'm hoping you can remove those uh, since they're probably not going to be used with the under tray but um yeah this seems to be a decent install so far these are the OEM little cable things um, we were able to get them off they're not going to be needed and the aluminum under tray one I don't know how many times I said that but um, yeah just trying to be thorough with this voiceover but let's get this one opened. All right, so here's the aluminum under tray. This is the facing up side of this part. Um, and then let's see the bottom. It's a really simple design. It's only about 10 pounds, maybe a little under, and it replaces the felt under tray and it's much more sturdy. And it also raises the bottom end of the car slightly because the felt one, um, it hangs a little lower. So yeah, let's get this put on and fix up this M3. The install is done, as you can see. Um, this is what it looks like. The install only took about 30-45 minutes uh, just because you do have to kind of get it in some tight places. Uh, but this is the under tray install. Um, like I said, the pros of this is that it's a good amount cheaper than the OEM felt one. It's stronger and it raises up the lowest point of the car a little bit because it gets rid of the little scoop that's in the felt um, under tray. But yeah, this is a uh, highly recommended. I think this is a pretty good, big like issue with a lot of the um, M3 owners. They usually destroy the felt under tray. So uh, yeah, I highly recommend that you get this for your M3. We are partnering with Valve Exhaust for um, this unboxing slash exhaust setup. Um, I just got the stainless steel um, axle back exhaust with the carbon fiber tips. Um, this is not have this hasn't been unboxed yet. Um, I did cut it open just so that's easier for the video But um, as you can see, it's very well protected um, and I'm very excited to see the exhaust itself um, It's quite a big box and it was pretty heavy, but We're gonna make it work Okay, so there's quite a few pieces in there that makes sense why it was so heavy. Uh, let's go with the first thing that seems the easiest to get out. Um, this black box. Um, not super sure what this is, but I believe it's probably electronics for the system. Um, I may or may not unbox this because um, the person installing it would probably want it just all together to make it less confusing. But let's set that aside and start digging into what's in here um, so this is probably one side of the muffler if I were to guess really good job in packaging so you don't have to worry that your package won't come safely um, this is really really well done super protective it's a little bit hard to, to get off because of how thorough the job is but we're gonna get it done regardless So as I suspected, this is one of the mufflers and it has their logo right here. It's pretty cool. Let's get this part out. Oof. This is 
looking pretty good. I like what I'm seeing so far. Really good welds. The stainless steel looks good as well. Um, let's see. There we go. There's the first muffler. Now I need to find a place to set it down because I don't want to damage it. So here's the valve. It's currently closed. Um, I just wanted to show you so that you can see the mechanism and just kind of see what's inside the tubing. From the size of this, I'm sure this is a tip. Um, pause if needed, but let me let me open that up. I did opt for the carbon fiber tip, so this should look really good. Yep, I can see it already. Ooh, we almost dropped that. All right. Uh, good thing I got good reflexes, uh, but I am a little clumsy as you can see. Woohoo! Look at this! This looks so sick. Oh my gosh, it's pretty big size as well. But personality matters more. Yes, sir. This looks really good. Let's put this and join it over here. Here's the third one. Join this one over here as well. Last but not least, this is the fourth tip. I can't wait to see how this looks on the car because carbon fiber tips are always a plus and I finally got some. Shout out to Valve Exhaust. So we're going to the second muffler. It's gonna be the same as the first one, just the opposite side. So far I've been really enjoying the unboxing because I just can't wait to get this system on my car because I've been riding around and with the stock exhaust for quite some time and I'm getting just a little bit bored of the stock sound. It's pretty muffled and uh, the S65 deserves to sing its heart out all the way to 8400 RPM. So that's what I partnered with Valve Exhaust to do. This partnership is going to be really good. Um, if this video does well, we can definitely get more valve exhaust parts on the way because this is just the axle back. But it's the start to something beautiful. Here it is again. I believe this is, yeah, from the feel of it, it's the hardware. Um, I actually want to keep this as is because um, this is going to be saved for the installer just to keep everything in one place. So we'll add it to this, which is probably the electronics. Um, we're nearing the end of this unboxing. We just have the two muffler pipes, the ones that connect the axle back to um, the X pipe essentially. So let's get that done and then we can show the whole system. So here's the system fully laid out. This is the axle back valved exhaust, like I was saying, with the carbon tips. You can see it basically mirrors the stock E9X uh, M3 exhaust, uh, but it's just a lot less restricted. You can tell by the muffler size. This is going to sound really good. Once again, shout out to Valved Exhaust for partnering with us. Looking forward to seeing how it sounds. I can't wait to get this system on. Um, we're going to have to get an oil change for the car as well. But once again, shout out to them for making this possible. And comment down below how excited you are to hear the new setup. And dude, this just looks super good. So uh, yeah, without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And the exhaust install will be next video.